Conti Pandy's buzzing with charity today. The fire service is raising money for the children's hospital, and Trevor the bus is helping Bella with her home improvements. Morning, Trev. What's this? Laying pavements? Well, I got more than I bargained for when I offered to put Bella's shower in. What have you got there, Sam? This case is full of raffle money. Oh, I got some of that. Here you are, Sam. Good man. That should bring us up to 300 pounds. Tidy little donation, that. Anyone in? Good heavens. Bella, is this a cafe or a junk shop? Trevor, is so kind. He put the unsweety shower in my bedroom, and I have a good clean out at the same time. Now then, Bella, how about a raffle ticket? Of course. Give me a whole book. Oh, no. Everything is all over the floor. <laughs> well, that's no problem. Oh, a grazie, Sam. Here you are, then. There's your tickets. I sell them to all the... Oh, Mamma Mia! I have the butterfingers today. Well, it's a beautiful basket of fruit, Elvis. It's funny. It's not like her, that. Being generous. Well, I think it's very kind of her. Who's that, then? Hello, Sam. Mrs. Price has donated this fruit. Well, she can't be feeling very well. Mm. Whoever wins these will have a dicky tummy, too. What's all this, Fireman Sam? The charity appeal, sir. The raffles already raised £300. Excellent. I knew I'd raise the money. You'll uh, find the bed for this afternoon's bed push round the back. I uh, only wish I could help you. Oh. Are you OK back there? Bandy Hill's oh. quite steep, isn't it? Oh, you're telling me it is. Oh, I feel as though my feet are at the bottom and my head's at the top. <laughs> I nearly finish. The day is dawning. I have the shower tomorrow morning. All finished out here. I'll start packing up. Ah, cappuccino time. Cool. Wet cement. Hiya, Mr. Evans. Norman Price, you stay where you are. I don't trust you near my nice level concrete. I only want to write my name in it. That's... Oh, no. None of your tricks, Norman. Of course not. Would you like one of my boiled sweets? Oh. Well, I don't mind if I do. Thank you, no. Oh, Norman Price! You wait till I tell your mother! <laughs> I don't know. What kind of a bus does Trevor Evans think he's running? A slow coach? Hello, Dillis. We're on a sponsored bed push. Push? Huh. Well, don't ask me to help. I haven't got enough energy to push my shopping trolley. Never mind a lump of old iron. Now, where's Trevor the bus got to? No need to wait for a bus. You can have a lift on the bed. Seeing as you're insisting, Sam, I don't mind if I do. Mmm. Oh, well, it's quite comfy, really, isn't it? Charity begins at home. That's what I always say. Calculator, accounts book. Now let's check this 300 pounds. Good grief. Where's the money? Oh, 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 oh. I feel like the Queen of Sheba. Well, that wasn't such a bad ride after all. Thank you, Sam. Here you are, dear Liz. Well, there's a little treasure trove. I think I am nearly finished now. Ah! Uh, Bella, you're not going to leave this stuff cluttering up the pavement, are you? No, I'm making the bonfire in the back of garden. Yes, now what, what we got here? It, what? You're going to burn all this? It's only rubbish. Oh, yes, I, I can see that. Did you see Dillis's face when she was riding down the road? Hey, <laughs> thought she was the bee's knees, didn't she? Fireman Sam, here we are, sir. 
A good few tenors to add to the 300. Would you step into my office, please? Count this penny. Oh, Eck, something's up. What is it, sir? Well, a uh, bit of a mystery. There was no money in the case. Not a penny. Well, where's it gone? When did you see it last? Well, this morning, sir, when I sold Bella some tickets. Hang on. This isn't my case. What? The rubbish will be seamed as in no time, and the shower is working. Grazie, Trevori. Hello, Coffee Bella? Sam? Bella, listen carefully. Do you remember seeing a black attache case this morning? Ah, uh, oh, uh, yes. An old one my uncle in Roma, he gave me. It's all right, sir. I think we found it. It's in the coffee. Bella, we'll come and fetch it now. Oh, no, Sam. I just put everything on the bonfire. Sam? All present and correct, sir. Right. Let's go. What's going on? Oh, that cat! Man the hell's you! Oh, great fires of London! I'm afraid we're too late! Oh dear! What a tragedy! Three hundred pounds! Gone up in smoke! Oh. It's my fault, Sam. I'm so sorry. Oh. Bella? Bella Lasagna? Where's that daft Italian millionaire What on earth's going on? Look what I found! Three hundred pounds! I don't believe it! Three hundred pounds, I'm telling you! She must have money to burn! Tillis, you don't know how close to the truth you are. And I can't thank you enough. That's the raffle ticket money. Oh, third time lucky. Concreting's finished, Bella. Oh, at last. And if I may say so myself, I've done it to a T. Oh, now who's done that? Norman Price! It's a scorching hot summer's day, and Sarah and James have persuaded Sam to have a game of cricket. Right. Last over for me now, you two. 
Oh, no. You've got to make your century before you go. I reckon I can get you out before then. Don't you be too sure, my boy. Here's my googly woogly. Short Uncle Sam. Oi, my beautiful begonias. Oh, lost something of you, my sugar lumps. Sorry, Mr. Evans. I tell you what, those professional cricketers have got nothing on me. I'll be over there now to give you a game. Real? This should be good. Seen as the twelfth man's coming on, I'll be off. Thanks, Trevor. See you later. I've got band practice. And believe me, we need all the practice we can get. Right then, boys. I'll show you how to knock up a century in a whipstitch. I, I gotta go now, Mum. <laughs> Steady oh. on, Norman. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't see you come in. Now, what's that you got there? <laughs> it's my dad's old telescope. Do you want a look? I don't mind if I do. You can see the stars through it. Well, well. I'll be... Yes, it's Jupiter. Jupiter? Wow, you, you can't see Jupiter in the daytime? <laughs> you can, you know. It's in the garage at the fire station. <laughs> it wasn't that funny, Norman. What wasn't? Ooh! How do you get your black eye? Black eye? Oh, probably the same way you got yours, Dillis. Oh, my mascara's run again, has it? Good heavens! I must change mix. Some boot polish, you mean? Polish? Norman! Well, I'm glad to see your lad hasn't lost his sense of humour, Dillis. I'll give him sense of humour when I catch him! Did you say something, sir? Fireman Cridlington, I know that modern music is rather discordant, but Men of Harlech is meant to have a melody. Oh, I, sorry, sir, I got, got a bit carried away. Aye, well, we're not very good, are we? Practice makes perfect. Shall we try again, sir? Oh, try being the operative word. After two. Cridlington, I haven't said one yet. One, two. Oh, crumbs. God heavens. That's, um, the, that's, uh, well, it's torn it, doesn't it? Um, sorry. Come on, Sarah, keep them coming. Best bit of willow this side of the Welsh border, this. We'll never get him out. Oh. It's a six! Mr Evans, I think you've batted our ball to the Caribbean. Oh, sorry. I'll go up and get it down. Aye, and that's how I'll do it. Right. Well, it looks a bit rickety, Mr. Evans. No, oh, seems all right to me. Right, kids. I'll soon get your ball. Oh, heck. I've just remembered. I can't stand heights. Better come down then, Mr. Evans. No, not till I've got the ball, I won't. Oh, oh come here. Oh, drat it. Oh, there we are. Got it. How's that? You're out, Mr. Evans. No, I'm not. Not on a rebound. <coughs> oh. Oh. Look out. Don't worry. I'll go and phone the fire brigade. Hang on, Mr. Evans. I don't think I can much longer. 
drums repaired, sir. Ready when you are. Uh, ready, sir. Ah, yeah, ah, very well, then. After two, which comes straight after one, Cridlington? One, two. Who did that? Oh, oh, it's action station. Firefighter Morris, you remain here to man the ferry. Man trapped on roof. All present and correct, sir. Right, men. Let's go. Quickly, Mr. Evans is stuck on your roof. Funny place to play cricket. Oh. Prepare ladders. Extend. Well, into the building. I, I, uh, no, I can't reach some. Come on, Trevor. You can do it. Are you an auxiliary fireman or not? Auxiliary fireman Evans. It's, it's no good, sir. I... Uh, I just can't do it. Oh, don't look down, Trevor, boy. Don't look down. Um, oh, uh. Hey, Trev, spaghetti bolognese for supper tonight? Oh, 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 no, you're talking. Yes. Oh! oh. Still haven't quite got the hang of it. Have we, Evans? I'm quick, though. Well, that's that problem solved, sir. And what about the concert tomorrow? Now, just a minute, sir. If I could have the afternoon in my inventing shed, I think we could be in with a chance.
The atmosphere so thick in Ponty Pandy this morning that you could cut it with a knife. Norman's been letting off stink bombs again. Oh, Norman? Yes, Mum? That smells permanent through the whole house. It was an accident, honest. Accident, my foot. Well, someone's got to clean the shop right through. Well, I do it, Mum, but I got to go to Penny Morris's house for tea with Sarah and James, and we're off to the pictures after. Well, I'll just have to tell her you can't oh, go. Mum. Jupiter and her crew are returning to Ponty Pandy. Oh, uh, uh, Sam, I think there's smoke across there. No, that's not smoke, Elvis. That's hill fog. And it's getting thicker by the minute. It'll be a real pea super later. Well, I never. It do say here uh, in my horoscope that the world is my oyster. No, what do you think of that then? Oh, you no believe the horoscopes, uh, Mrs. Surprise. Is a rubbish, the fortune telling. Mrs. Lasagna, my grandmother came from pure Romany stock. She once told me that I would have a son who'd be Prime Minister of Wales one day. Norman? Ah! Huh? How has she know that? Tea leaves, of course. And what's more, she passed the craft on to me. Have you finished? Oh! <coughs> well, I think your luck is in. I see a man. He's dark and handsome. Oh, I see travel too. And uh, yes, you're going to meet him soon. Cool. That's amazing. Will you tell our fortunes, Mrs. Price? Oh. Oh. I I see you going on a long journey. This afternoon, to Newtown. Wow, that's incredible. And what else? Well, um, there's so much to see, see? Ha <laughs> ha, there you are. Come on, you two. We're supposed to leave on time. Mamma mia, is the dark and the handsome man. Oh, Trevor? Oh, well, there you are, you see. My predicament come true. Hello, you two. Hello, Uncle Sam. Hello. Oh, look at those. Can you stop here, Mr. Evans, so we can pick those daisies? We'll walk the rest of the way. All right, my sugar lumps. Cheerio. Thanks, Mr. Evans. Thanks. Brilliant. Penny loves flowers. Come on. Just a few more. We'll miss the film. No, we won't. There. Uh, Sarah, I can't see the gate. It's over there. It's not. Oh, then it's got to be this way. No, it's not. Oh, we're lost. Good afternoon, Ponty Ponty Fire Station. Sam, it's Penny. Look, have you seen Sarah and James? They should be here by now, and with this fog, I'm a bit worried. Well, it's strange, that. Hey, Penny, can you meet me halfway? Now, they've got to be somewhere between Ponty Pandy and Newtown. Will do. I hope they're all right. Fireman Sam to Firefighter Penny Morris. Over. Go ahead, Sam. Over. Whereabouts are you? Good question, Sam. I can't see any landmarks. Oh, just a minute. Here are some headlights. Uh, hang on, Penny. There's a car. <laughs> Heavens, it's Jupiter. Oh, that was close. I always said we needed radar. 
There's no sign of them, then? No, nothing yet. Hey, hang on, Sam. What's this? It's someone's hanky. And there's an S on it. It's Sarah's. Then that means they must have gone through the gate. Well, I'll go and look. You stay here in case they find their way back. OK, Sam. That's funny. I, w I was sure we were going the right way. We're lost because of you. It's not my fault. Just because... Oh! Oh! Sarah! The ground swallowing me up! Here. Grab my hand. Uh, it's no good. I can't reach. Don't panic, Sarah. Help! Help, somebody! Help! Help! Sarah! James, I'm on my way. Uncle Sam, oh, please, oh, come quickly. It's all right. I'm here now. OK, Sarah, keep quite still. I can't come forward or I'll sink too. Fireman Sam to Firefighter Penny Morris. Over. Hello, Sam. Any luck? Over. Drive down that track just as fast as you can. Understood, Sam. I can see your headlights now. We are straight ahead. I'll get the rope. You prepare the winch. Right, Sarah. I'm going to throw you this rope. Now you've got to get the loop under your arm. OK, Uncle Sam. One, two... There we are. Got it. Good girl. She's secure now. Start winching. Right you are. Hold on tight, Sarah. I am. You're almost there. Try, try and grab my hand. Uh, now, there we are. Not too clean, but not the worse. Uh, thanks, Uncle Sam. Buono appetito. My mama always says to me, a spaghetti bolognese makes you forget your troubles. What's that fire engine? Oh! And what are you two doing here? You're supposed to be in the pictures. How did you know that? Oh, it, uh, it just uh, comes to me. No, it doesn't. Oh, I told you this morning <laughs> about going to oh. Penny. Oh! Oh, what a little chatterbox Norman can be. When he used to cry about time, Fireman Sam is there on time. Someone might be in a jam. So hurry, hurry, Fireman Sam. He's always on the scene. Fireman Sam and his engine bright and clean. Fireman Sam, you cannot ignore. Sam is the hero next door. 
Adams invited Sarah and James to a party in his garden. What was it you called this meal, Uncle Sam? Brunch. That's it, James. It's halfway between breakfast and lunch, so brunch. Good morning, sir, ma'am. Freshly squeezed orange juice for three. Oh, hello. Who are you? Would sir like his egg sunny side up or sunny side down? Sarah and James, this is Bentley the Robot, my latest invention. Brilliant! Wicked! Look no meat, look no meat. Eating healthy without meat. Cheese and pasta, whole meal too. That's the best for me and you. Whoa! Penny's going to love this. For luncheon, I can offer caviar, roast venison, and a selection from the sweet trolley. Uh, no, we're having vegetarian today, see? Oh, what on earth is... Good morning, sir. I trust you slept well. Good grief! Here's my new assistant, sir, who could give us a hand round the station. Station Officer Steele, meet Bentley the robot. Charmed. Yes, good idea. Hello. Ah. Yeah, well, perhaps you could get me a cup of tea before I go to Newtown. Oh, oh, Exum. Tea bugs was the one thing I forgot to buy. No problem. Bentley, first task, shopping at Mrs. Price's general store. Oh, my ninja space warriors are everywhere. It's so hard, I don't even know if I'll be able to do it. May I have some tea bags? Just a minute! Can't you see that? I... Oh! Norman! There's a spaceman in the shop! Come down here this minute! Mrs. Price, are you feeling unwell? Should I call a doctor? What's the matter, Mum? We're being invaded by beings from outer space! Oh, a robot. Wicked. How does he work, I wonder? Who is your controller? Fireman Sam. See, Mum? It's just one of his inventions. Here we are, then. Thanks, Penny. Look, there's Uncle Sam's new assistant. Oh, Bentley, I'm off up to the station to do some welding. Would you like a lift? Don't mind if I do, Mum. These bags are rather heavy. He's got some funny friends, that fireman Sam. Now, Bentley, my boy, you take this lot and chuck it in the dustbin. Very good, fireman Sam. He's half died, your buddy Sam. Whoa, paraffin. This should get rid of grease and grime. I'll try and repair those locker doors now, Sam. OK, Penny. Here. Let me help you, Mr. Bentley. Now then, which is the eject button, I wonder? <laughs> now for some mega fun. Uh, uh, fancy a game of Raiders of the Lost Universe, Bentley? Raiders rule! OK! <laughs> Gently, Bentley. Oi! There's no need to throw the towel in. Hey, I'm no danger to traffic. This welding job's more than I bargained for. Alert company! Mega bombs in operation! Raiders attack! Right, I'll just have to take your tape out, boy. Raiders of the Lost Universe? Now I wonder how that got in there. Oh, -ho! time I was off! Norman Price, I'll see you on my way home. Man the hose wheel! Help! Fire! Fire! 
That's not Norman mucking about again, is it? Fire! Help! Heavens above! That's Penny's voice, Elvis. Right, man, the hose reel. Right you are, Sam. Oh, Penny. Elvis, it's too hot. I can't get in. Oh! But Bentley could. He could do it. If only I could get him working again. Elvis, you check the hose. Look. Someone's lost a cassette. I wonder what's on it. It's Bentley's control cassette. How come it's here? Hey, there's smoke coming from the fire station. Gosh! We found Bentley's control tape. Great! That's what I need. Now, Bentley, go through the flames, get Penny. Certainly, sir. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Bentley's very brave. He's superhuman. It's all right. Bentley's bringing her out. Flames coming under control now, Sam. He's done it! Good man, Bentley. Yes, but what about Penny? I think she's all right, Elvis. Can you hear me, Penny? Oh. <laughs> what happened? <coughs> right, Norman. It's time I had a word with you. You know, you're very lucky that Bentley was able to save Penny. Yes, Fireman Sam. It could have been a very different story. Yes, Fireman Sam. Aye, well, lucky there's no structural damage. Just needs a very thorough clean. So keep mopping, my lad. And any more of your tricks and... No, Fireman Sam. Hmm. A disturbing incident handled with great speed and skill by all concerned, and I am proud to award James and Sarah for their speedy reactions the Pontypandy Fire Service Honorary Certificate. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Mr. Steele. I well done, you two. But for outstanding bravery, I award you, Bentley, the Gold Cross Medal for Exceptional Valor. Delighted, I'm sure. Delighted, I'm sure. Delighted, oh, I'm no. sure. Delighted, I'm sure. When you 